Good morning. It is a Good morning. It is a weekday and it's school holiday. So I thought I'd vlog today. I'd do like a school holidays shopping kind of vlog. And I have taken the day off today to spend with Bud, who's on school holidays. So we are going to go to the shops. I want to go to Kmart and we'll go to TK Maxx. And we're going to go out and have brunch, have some mummy son time. And I promised Bud that he can use his pocket money to buy a new toy if he declutters a couple of his old toys. So he's just going searching about for his money because we recently sold some old toys of his. And I just thought that would be a nice treat for him. If you're new to my channel, my name's Mel. I'm aspiring to be a minimalist. So I've been decluttering and cleaning and organizing. So I do a lot of those sorts of videos on my channel every week. And I'd love to have you hit that red subscribe button if that is what you're interested in. Today, actually, we got up really late. When I say really late, like after 8 o'clock, um, I got to stress for daycare and my husband took her on the way to work and Bud and I just sat in bed and um, read books and stuff and I watched a bit of YouTube I have to admit and I let him play a word game I think it's called bookworm on my iPad I had a shower and now because I want to get there before it's too busy because I have a feeling shopping malls will be busy at school holidays I basically got myself ready and we're about to race out the door I haven't made the bed at all but I have put some washing on just keeping it real guys this is my unmade bed and Bud hasn't made his bed either, and I don't care because we're gonna go out and have some fun. Bye, Annie. Mm. Bring your shoes on. Ready to go? What's all with my money? The deal is you gotta declutter yeah, something when we get the... home, right? Yeah, I'm gonna declutter all my car stuff. Cause we. Cause. Lightning McQueen. Yeah. I'm gonna do my 
made my bed kind of half the pillows are on the floor in Toots's room because we're trying to transition her from her cot to like more of a bed I didn't go too crazy at the shops we just had a really really good look around and I only got a really little haul which is good because I'm trying not to buy a lot of stuff and I'm trying to keep decluttering as well so I'll just show you what I got so first of all I just got these stack of four drawers this is the only item that I didn't buy from Kmart and it's just like four drawers and they slide out and I can put stationary envelopes and 
stuff in there and I want that for my office cover because I'm rearranging my office which you'll see in an upcoming vlog. I just bought these from the Reject shop and I think they were only $15 and I also bought a couple of birthday cards these were $2 each they were all from the Reject shop. And then from Kmart I bought this bamboo rack which I hope and I did measure before we left and it's got measurements there which I checked I've bought this for Bud's room because he doesn't have any sort of closet he doesn't really have anywhere to hang stuff so just things like his um, shirts for his school uniform and stuff I want to hang up and other things that we don't want to fold and put in his drawers so he doesn't need a lot of hanging space but I just got that small one to go in his room and so that was from Kmart and I just bought two sets of wooden hangers so there's um, half a dozen so a dozen in total wooden hangers to go with that just to hang up his clothes and then the only other homeware I bought was this little cheap basket I think it was only about four dollars I think from Kmart and it's a little bit misshapen not the best quality but I just wanted it to put on my sideboard for my husband to put his keys and stuff in because he's always just dumping so much stuff on our sideboard and it just looks a mess so at least if he can put it in a basket and it won't scratch the surface of my nice wooden sideboard as well and then I just got a couple of books I got the very itchy bear this is for uh, a birthday present for a birthday party that we were invited to and we actually couldn't make the birthday party because Toots wasn't well I just thought it might be nice for her friend to have a little something so she can take that to daycare for the next time she sees her friend this is a belated birthday present and then I saw this one which I thought was so cute called Rudy Nudy. this one was only six dollars and then Halloween stuff we didn't go too crazy Bud wanted something to wear for trick-or-treating hopefully it's gonna be nice weather so got the six to eight years and it's only fifteen dollars it's a little skeleton costume sorry if the lights kind of shining on the plastic there I thought that was really cute it was only $15 and because it's six to eight years he could wear it again as well next year so there'll be room for him to grow and then lastly Halloween decorations I just wanted a little something to put outside like our front door and at our letterbox so that on trick-or-treating night on Halloween night people know that we're handing out sweets because not a lot of houses will do it in Australia it's not a, as big a thing as in the United States so you need to make sure you decorate your letterbox in your front door so that people know that you are handing out sweets and if you don't want people knocking on your door you just don't decorate your house so I just got a little something because one I didn't want to spend a lot of money and two I don't want to have to store all these decorations and you know have them sitting in a cupboard for a year because I'm only going to use them one night a year. I just bought two of these, spiders and cobwebs, and so I thought maybe drape one near the front door and then one around our letterbox so when people walk past they can see our letterbox has a bit of decoration on it. And then two of these four meter sort of um, yellow, not yellow, orange and <laughs> pumpkin tinsel Thing. so that's four meters long and I bought two of those and that's what I thought so I saw it one each at the front door and one each at the letterbox and I thought that will do and then hopefully I can also reuse them next year and because they're you know pretty small and I didn't buy a lot then it won't be a lot for me to have to store away I can just store them in the same box as I store my Christmas decorations there were quite a few cute homewares and things at TK Maxx but I didn't end up buying anything from TK Maxx because like I said I'm, I'm really trying not to spend a lot of money and bring a lot of extra stuff into my home that's kind of I guess seasonal or just like a one-off sort of occasion and stuff that I'm not going to use very often and going to have to store so I was really strained I was tempted to buy the I think it was like a passion fruit scented candle that I saw at TK Maxx all the candles smelled delicious but I just I don't burn candles often enough I don't think and there's one I've already got still left over from last Christmas that I haven't burnt so I thought I really shouldn't be buying another candle but I did have a lot of fun looking around the shops with Bud it was really good we spent a few hours there um, didn't end up having to pay for parking so we got our free parking of three hours and then got what we needed and we came home and Bud spent his pocket money he had $35 to spend 
and he bought a little Hot Wheels set which was $29 and it packs up all in one self-contained box so um, that's not going to take up much room and he's also decided that well before we went shopping I said you know if you're going to buy something new think about what you don't need anymore that you can take out of your room or take out of your toy box and so he's going to take another little toy set out that he doesn't play with anymore and either try and sell it or donate it all right guys so that is it for our shopping day and halloween shopping tour and haul i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and of course don't forget to subscribe by clicking on my face below if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one bye